Right then, welcome back. And today, well, continuing our current trend, um, we're going to do a track guide for Akiyama uh, International. Akiyama GP? Akiyama GP, isn't it? You've got Ak Akiyama Piper, Akiyama GP at the Akiyama International. Yes, what a mouthful. Now, I do struggle with this track unless I have a bike that has an amazing front end on it. Um, the Kawasaki, the 2019 ZX10 endurance bike, is okay. Um, it's not the best, it's certainly not a uh, Street Fighter V4S, um, but uh, it turns out it's good enough. The only changes I made over the endurance setup is I went a bit longer on the gear in and we had a little bit of muck about with tyres. Now we did plenty of laps, but your first braking point, well your first braking marker area is the bridge. Some bikes will be before it, some bikes will be on it, some bikes will be uh, underneath it, whatever. Uh, your turning point is the white line slash Marshall's Tower on the left hand side. And I left the braking a little bit too late. Uh, we ran a bit wide, so there's a couple of tents there. Next one, again, braking point bridges. Bridges are very important on this lap, as you'll see. And this corner is not as tight as you think, but it's not as open as you think neither. You've got to be very careful, just guide it out to the curb. And then where Marshall Point 5 is, we're going to straight line these corners. Very, very minimal inputs into the bike just to guide it through. And then the next braking point is Marshall Point 6 slash the white line on the left hand side. Now, again, hold it across to the left. Don't turn in too early. Your braking point it depends what line you want to run. I like to run wide and then take a really late apex as I'm coming out the corner. If you look at the gas in the bottom right hand side, you can say I'm on the gas. I'm pretty much on the gas flat out. The traction control is just holding it back. If you run a tighter line, it's up to you. I find the wide line late apex is quicker. Breaking point for the hairpin is the 200 meter board. Do not do what I did and go sailing past, put the brakes on a little bit late and run so deep into the hairpin that we've lost another couple of tenths. So there's at least half a second somewhere on this lap. Next braking slash turning point is the white line on the left and right hand side. It's not a massive braking point depending on what engine braking settings you're running. Next one for the next left hander is the white line slash curbs just as you cross where the piper circuit joins. Again, be patient, run tight to the curb, but don't run on the curb, it's serrated, it will mess the bike up. Get on the gas, let it slide. Next braking point, you've guessed, you've guessed it, it's the bridge. Just before on the fast stuff, underneath it on the 600s, just past it on the littler stuff. Again, be patient, uphill left-hander, turn eight. On the gas, hold it in the center of the track, and as soon as you get back on the racing line, on the brakes, and you want to be moving it back across to the right-hand side for turn nine, which again is an uphill, very long corner. On the gas, next braking point, is the white line slash the Marshall point on the left hand side and it's not really a braking point it's more of a dab <coughs> excuse me if you're running full engine braking you'll only need a dab last braking point is the curb on the left hand side before you get to the final corner again it's not as tight as you think so just be gentle on the brakes and try and let the bike flow through as fast as you can on the gas down the start finish straight and we did a 125.018 mm quite a lot going on busy lap but if you string it all together it should look a little something like this
go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Um, yeah, front tyre, you can see the front tyre is yellow um, already. Uh, we did a lot of laps. You're going to do a lot of laps on this track because you'll get one half of it right and you'll make a mess of the latter half of it and vice versa. Um, we ended up uh, second on a 125.0, 124.8 on a ZX10. I think there's half a second in there somewhere. Um, I went hard, hard. I would find I was boiling the tyres. I could probably drop to a medium rear and find that I get a little bit more grip. If I hit the braking point for the hairpin, probably a bit better anyway. But yeah, there you go. Another track guide done. Uh, the next one we're going to do the Nurburgring sprint layout on said Street Fighter V4. Uh, so that should be absolutely filthy. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all the usual jazz. And fingers crossed, I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe. Peace.